Hi, uh, my name is Celine Song, and I'm the writer director of Past Lives. And today we're going to talk about uh, the scene where uh, Nora and Hesong, who are uh, two main characters of my movie, um, reconnect after 12 years of being separated. Um, they have uh, reconnected over, uh, you know, a Facebook message online. Um, they kind of found each other, and this is the first time that they're um, connecting. And the way that we have set up these rooms that this Skype sequence is happening is that we built two rooms on a set. One that is Nora's dorm room and the other room, which is uh, Hesong's uh, room in his family's home. And they were actually physically connected and they were able to perform these scenes live. So, you know, I wanted this sequence to sort of like build anticipation in this way. And of course, when, you know, we see Hesong, it does bring us Whoa. to a place where we're just like so happy to see Whoa. him because I think that it was all led up to the, <laughs> through the anticipation that is on uh, Nora's oh, face. No. And you know, something that I actually noticed wow. in uh, working in through the I sequence is that, you know, putting the camera towards the monitor and then really showing the image of the other person, we thought that maybe that would feel not as dynamic as shooting the person in the room. But what we actually learned is that looking at the monitor, it is a bit of, it's a window through which that you can see the other person. And I think that it really does feel for the audience like they're talking to Hezong through the monitor. So because I really wanted this sequence to feel authentic, I really wanted to make sure the connection was really bad. And something that's that was also really effective is that the actors didn't know when the image was going to freeze. They knew it was going to freeze sometime in the scene, but they didn't know when it was going to come. So the surprise they feel, I think, is genuine. When we were shooting this with the actor, something that we learned is also like it is so much easier to act alone in the room with just the laptop. So we would just completely leave the actor alone in their rooms when they were um, in the laptops, when we were shooting their footage uh, through the laptop. And I know that that really freed the actors to really uh, feel immersed in feeling like they're just alone in the room. And then, you know, the first part of the conversation sort of ends and something that I wanted to do is make it seem like many hours have passed so that because they had so much to say to each other. And then we had these beautiful city whites that move in one direction. And over the image of these cities, Seoul during the day, in the morning, and uh, New York City at night, which is sort of spells doom for them because it's like it really is about showing that the time zones are complete opposite. They're in the opposite sides of the world. But over that image, you know, they're really talking about um, each other, you know, and then you hear the way that they speak. And of course, on the side of Seoul, um, I wanted uh, you know, Nora's voice to be through the Skype and over the image of uh, New York, you want the uh, Hesung's voice to be through Skype. And then of course, Hesung has to say something that is a little bit heartbreaking, but it's a little bit, it's very hard to say. And he's not sure if he should say, which I think is, speaks to who Hesung is as a person too, um, as a character. Because he just has trouble saying something that is quite true for him, which is that he, he misses her. But of course, like, what does it mean to miss someone that you just reconnected with? Right? It actually uh, makes little sense, idea. and I think that's what they're talking about. That. They're talking about the contradiction of missing someone who uh, they just they don't really know. They only spoken for a few hours.